Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what are your person's feelings for the third party? Now, of course, this reading is not going to be for all of you. This reading is only for those of you who are currently dealing with someone who you know is still involved with a third party, with somebody else outside of their connection or relationship with you. If that's the case, I'm going to take a look at what are your person's current feelings for that third party, and also what are their current feelings for you, Gemini. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Also, please be careful of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. If you receive a message from someone um, with a phone number or with an email telling you to contact them in, in whatever way, please be aware those are scammers. That is not me. I will never send you um, a message telling you to contact me. So ignore those messages because those are scammers. Okay. Let's get started. Spirit angels and guides, please show me what are Gemini's person's current feelings for the third party. Thank you, Spirit. All right, at the bottom of the of the deck, we have the death card. I think you can see all the cards here. So magician, 10 of wands, six of cups, six of swords, wheel of fortune, four of wands, three of swords, page of cups, and 10 of cups. Hmm. Their feelings for the third party. There's a back and forth energy for sure. Yeah, I just have to be honest about that. I feel like there's a back and forth energy. We're together, we're not together. Let me just see, death, strength. There's a resistance to, to end this relationship. Strength, the moon, ace of cups, two of wands. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Five of Swords, Eight of Cups, World. But it's like your person knows that, I feel like there's a resistance here coming from your person to, you know, to make that final decision to walk away from this third party, like once and for all. There's a resistance almost like they're nervous. I feel like your person is nervous about, you know, stepping into the unknown. Deep down inside, I feel like your person is interested in having a completely new beginning um, with a new person. But there's this fear of of stepping out of their comfort zone, out of, you know, with the Six of Cups. This can represent an energy of, you know, so, someone who you feel comfortable with, someone who you've grown accustomed to, um, someone who maybe you know for a long time. So this is, this is what I feel is their connection with the third party. 
you know the third party is someone who they've grown accustomed to maybe they know them from childhood because the six of cups can represent childhood or you know just for many for many years they've known them for many years So there is a resistance to to let go of that sense of familiar, familiarity, familiarity. That's a hard word to say. That sense of, I don't know, comfortableness. But I do feel like your person definitely does want a brand new beginning in their life. They are feeling very tired and very burdened with the Ten of Wands by this relationship with the third party. I feel like there's a constant repetitive cycle that is draining them or tiring them, especially with the Three of Swords here. Um, but I do feel like there is good times and there's bad times. Like I feel like your person sees the third party as someone who they've had very who they've had a lot of good times with, but also who they've experienced a lot of disappointment with. So, you know, it's it's not all bad, it's not all good. It's so it makes it harder for them to move on. All right, let me clarify so I can figure out the details here. Uh, that magician looks interesting, so I'm going to clarify that one. Why is the magician card here spirit? Knight of Pentacles and the Sun. Hmm. This is definitely an energy of independence with the Magician. Magician can also be independence. So that's what your person is trying to manifest here. Your person is trying to manifest independence. Oh, I see. So they've, they've been in a codependent relationship with the third party. Hmm. They've been in a codependent relationship with the third party, and now um, they're trying to manifest independence for themselves. Yeah, your person leaned leaned on the third party for for a lot of things. You know, especially with the six of cups, it's like your person leaned on them, um, depended on them for. For a lot of things. And I feel like now your person is in an energy of learning how to do things for themselves, you know, and, mm -hmm. and reclaim their own personal power. It feels good, though. It doesn't feel bad. It feels like a good energy. It feels like your person is is stepping into an energy of empowerment. And I feel like it's 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 giving them a lot of happiness. Yeah, I feel like your person is starting to feel enthusiastic and um, motivated, optimistic. Mm-hmm. I like the Wheel of Fortune. What's the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit? Oh, yeah. You know, the Wheel of Fortune is always like a, a, a clock to me. So it's like it's time. That's what your person is feeling like. It's time. It's time for me to, like, you know, spread my wings, you know, and let go of Uh, or break free from from the same routine that I've been living in for too long. 
that, that has kept me stuck. So this relationship with the third party, they feel like it's kept them stuck. All right, tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, well, I, I don't, I don't yeah, look, temperance. Temperance with the Wheel of Fortune. Feeling inspired, feeling motivated, feeling divinely guided to... to let go of the old and move towards the new. Hmm. I, I don't feel like this Three of Swords belongs to your person, Gemini. I'm, I'm starting to feel like this Three of Swords belongs to the third party. The third party is not at this level energetically. The, the third party hasn't made this spiritual um, sort of leap. Ascension, this kind of spiritual ascension. Yeah, the, the, the third party is still attached to, to this relationship. I am going to take a look at them in a second. Let me just finish here, but I will look at the third party's energy. So yeah, Page of Cups and the Ten of Cups, it's like, I, I really feel like your person is ready for something new, for a new relationship, for a new experience. Um, and I feel like they've outgrown, it's like they've outgrown this relationship with the third party. They've outgrown it. The, the feelings are not the same anymore. This might be more of a feeling of um, I care about you, but you know, not not romantically anymore. More like a friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the feelings have changed from romantic feelings to friend friendship feelings. All right, I think I'm done here. Let's move on. Let's let's take a look at the third party real quick. I mean, more to confirm because I think I already I think I already understand the third party, but let's just get some confirmation. Spare, what are the third party's current feelings for Gemini's person, please? Thank you so much. Oh, what did I say? Here it is at the bottom of the deck, Nine of Swords. This is exactly what I said. Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, the third party is upset, you know. They're upset, they're angry. They're not happy, this is not... They're not ready to move on, they're not ready to... Um, move towards something new. They're, they're comfortable with the relationship that they currently have with the third party or that they had with the third party. I'm sorry. The third party is 
comfortable with the relationship that they had with your person, Gemini. Sorry, it can get confusing. Yeah, the third party is comfortable with the relationship that they had with your person. They don't want to make changes. But your person, Gemini, is, like I already said, they're changing, um, they're shifting, and this third party is getting left behind. And there is anger towards these changes here. Seven of Wands with the Temperance card. I didn't tell you the cards, did I? I think you see them, though, but let me, set, let me tell them. Tell you them. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Temperance, the Moon, Page of Wands, Two of Swords, Queen, King of Cups, Ten of Swords, King of Wands, Nine of Swords at the bottom here. Well, this is sad. This is sad. I feel like, you know, it's definitely affecting the third party, but what are you going to do, you know? I don't know what to say there, so... Temperance is here, you know, the, the, there is angelic energy here, you know, there's divine energy here. So um, this person doesn't realize it right now, but it's, it's a blessing, you know, it, this is a blessing that they're not quite seeing right now. But it looks like these two people had some kind of contract with each other, like a, a soul contract. And the, the contract has expired and, you know, your person, Gemini, is already on their way towards moving on with their life. But again, the third party still needs more time to adjust. Hmm. I don't see, um, I don't see this person, you know. I don't, I mean, we do have the seven of wands, but so that, you know, they might put up a fight, a little bit of a fight, but I don't feel like it's too much. I feel like um, your the, uh, the third party will soon enough accept defeat, okay? All right, Gemini, let's move on and see what are your person's current feelings for you, Gemini? Let's see that now. All right, Spirit, what are Gemini's person's current feelings for Gemini? Thank you, Spirit, so much. At the bottom of the deck, we have seven of pentacles, four of swords, four of pentacles, nine of cups, page of swords, strength. All right, we have ace of cups here, six of swords, high priestess, 
Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Oh, God, what happened here? Four of Cups, Three of Swords, Eight of Cups. Gemini, I feel like there was some sort of false start between you and this person. We have the Three of Swords with the Ace of Cups. Hmm. Something tried to start, but didn't... Um, didn't take off between you and this person. I don't feel like it's over though. I mean, we do have eight of cups here. Somebody walked away because with the four of cups, two people were not agreeing with each other or were not you know, vibrating at the same level with the Two of Cups. Hmm. Gemini, but I feel like um, if, if, if it was your person who walked away, or who, who knows, I don't know, whoever walked away, both of you ultimately separated, with the high priestess, I do feel like this person hasn't been able to, you know, stop thinking about you. Yeah, they haven't been able to stop thinking about you. Um, I can't, I'm feeling like a missing energy, like when somebody misses you. I feel like this person's missing you, Gemini. Yeah, they still want to work this out with the three of pentacles, with the two of cups. They still want to work this out, even though things might not have worked out the first time around. This person still wants, they, they're still interested in, in finding a way to work together with you and get on the same page with you and, and come up with solutions here. They're interested in having this Ace of Cups, this new beginning in love with you. I do feel like they've been quiet with the High Priestess. They've been very quiet. They've been, they've been keeping everything to themselves. But don't be fooled by their silence. This person has been thinking about you the whole time and you know, feeling a lot of pain over this separation. And with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like they still see the potential. They still feel like you know, this is something that, could, that can grow and that, that can become a commitment. And I feel like that is what they're looking for. They are looking for commitment with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, there was some sort of like resting period with the Four of Swords. There was a resting period here. This person um, has done some resting while you two were apart here. They've done They've done a lot of thinking and analyzing and evaluate, evaluating. Yeah, you know, trying to you know what it is also, I think this Four of Swords, when I say resting, I feel like this person has been trying to accept, you know, they've been trying to accept the loss that they had with you. But with the Page of Swords and the Strength card, this person still has a lot of feelings for you and they're struggling. They're struggling to accept whatever happened between you two. They're struggling to to move on from it, to let, to let it go. They still want you. And I feel like the distance has made their, oh, what is that? The distance makes the heart grow fonder. Yeah, distance makes the heart grow fonder. I feel like that's what's happening with this person. The distance with you has made them want you even more. There's, we have the tower and the six of pentacles. So I feel like there's gonna be a breakthrough here there's going to be a positive breakthrough. Um, I feel like you two are going to come together again. 
with the Six of Pentacles. And I feel like this time, it's going to be a lot better. And I feel like it, this person is going to give give it a lot more energy. Because, like I said, distance has helped the heart grow fonder. So this person's feelings for you have have become even more intense and more stronger. And it's helped them to realize how much they want this, how much they want to work on this. They're looking at you like you are their wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. Yeah, because I feel like maybe they didn't give their all with the Four of Cups. They might not have given their all previously, but I feel like that's changing. They're not going to hold back anymore. They're going to be a lot more serious here about creating a, a stability with you. Two of Cups. Creating a foundation with you. Oh, this is sweet. I like this energy. Very sweet. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I feel like this, the distance really helped this person out a lot. It really helped them to, to see your worth much more than they recognized before, you know? For sure. All right, Gemini, so I hope this reading helped you. If it did help you or if it did resonate, please give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.